Hey team, teams, you are awesome. It's been a great week. Uh, congratulations to the Bitabalas and the orangutans for, for playing to win and for clearly moving outside your comfort zone into your learning zone. And uh, thanks for staying outside the panic zone and staying safe and being accountable for your own actions. Um, I've learned a lot this week. I always learn a lot when I put myself in these type of environments and I've grown personally. And one of my real learnings and growths and gifts has been to get to know each and every one of you better. Uh, as you know, I got a, a, a big world to cover in my job, but as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing more important that I want to do with my time or should be doing with my time than what we've done here together this week in France. Uh, you have been absolutely awesome. You've been creative. You've been courageous. And I truly think this team in Europe, under John Walker's leadership, with his support team, are coming together. You'll have to decide where you go from here with the PECO spirit. I'm entrusting you with that decision. I know you'll make the right one. But regardless of what you decide, you're more of a team today than you were before, and I'm sure you can feel it right now. I want to thank uh, our friends from Pecos who are on their way home, I suppose, not by now as am I, uh, to, to John Winberg and, and to, to Michael and to Allison. You were absolutely awesome, and I hope you get a chance to see this tape as well. To our cameramen who did an outstanding job climbing poles and walls and fences and even filming this uh, video for me here at the end. I hope you all have a safe trip home. My best to your families. Uh, it's going to be hard to describe to them what happened here, but as we said, the way you will describe it is by your behavior and by the way you will model your new and improved self. Uh, you know, life is about continuous improvement in our products and our people and our processes. And I think this week is clearly about uh, personal change. Uh, I told you Sunday night it would be a gift. I hope right now that you feel like it was a personal gift. Through individual change, we achieve organizational change, because after all, all the organization is, is us. Uh, my best to all of you, and have a great weekend. I look forward to spending more time with you in the future. See you. Ik heb er uh, ontzettend veel zin in. We zijn er helemaal klaar voor. Ready for takeoff? Ja. Ja, ja. Do you guys know how to get to the uh, Barbary from here? Yeah. Yes. Can you explain it in French to the driver? No. no. Zij komt zeker uit voor je Ja, wat ik Philip Philip Wolke. 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 We don't know what's going to happen. Ask me in two days. Play to win. Bonjour, bonjour, j'ai
And this is us tomorrow. <laughs> Down the caves and up the cliffs. Doesn't look like it's gonna be too energetic. Looks as flat as a pancake. Then we came. <laughs> oh, there's there's a cliff. There's a river. <laughs> <laughs> to the grotto. We thought, oh, this, this sounds like bad news. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself as look as lovely as they do. <laughs> Play to win. Okay. One, two, three. Play to win. They have wonderful t-shirts. Yes. <laughs> Very impressive. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, so I went to bed at a civilized time. How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you are. Got some sleep you did. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Would you oh, yeah. So I'm just here to welcome you. That's my biggest uh, speech. And after that, that's it. This was a farm. 12 months ago, there were cows here with the European community fans. We have, yes, yes, yes. You all paid for it. Paid, you paid, all of you, you paid for that. This is a walk. Is this another accommodation? Yeah. I'm going to take a look at the building. The way back, you go to the wall. Good evening. Uh, I'm Charlie Idle. Those of you that may not uh, know who I am, and my job is to is to introduce John Walker to you uh, for the first time as your president. We, as an American company, are glad to have a European leading this European operation, uh, and that's the way it should be. John and his team, and you as a team, have earned the right to 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 run your own show over here. That's the way we want it, and. Uh, so without further ado, I just <clears throat> just say I'm just ecstatic, honored, and pleased to introduce to you your new president, Mr. John Walker. We're all a bit worried about what's going to happen in the next two days. Uh, in fact, um, PECOS has got a new meaning. It's a business opportunity, actually, in a funny sort of way. I was um, talking to Mike Anderson on, um, on Friday, and he said, I'm up to 28. I said, what do you mean? He said, I've sold information about Pecos. Incidentally, Mike's one of the few people who've actually been on the Pecos course. I've sold information to pay about Pecos to my colleagues, and I'm up to 28 bottles of wine. <laughs> <laughs> And he tried to make it 30 <laughs> on Friday lunchtime, but failed. But why are we here? Um, well, let me try to explain. We're here to build a team. I could stop there. But we're not here to build an ordinary team. We're here to build a great team. We're, be we're here to, to build a high-performance work group. That's what's going to happen in the next few days, and the next few months and years. We have to survive, we have to change to survive, we have to lead, and quite frankly, we don't have much time to pull around, so we've got to get on with it. We're going to have two and a half days off, and I'll read my note on this, stimulation. Now you can make what you like of that. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else to write in that space. And that's going to be followed by a day when we're going to debate and explore and agree a new growth strategy to lead us to a 15% operating income. Not in 10 years time, not in five years time, but in the next couple of years. The sort of words that we're going to be coming across quite a lot in the next few days are words like trust, support, energy, accountability, Flexibility, and last but not least, courage. Because we all need 
a little more courage to make these changes that we're faced with so that we can effectively lead into the future. You know, it all leads to the same compelling conclusion. It's teams that succeed. So we're in the process of building a new team. A team with the skills and the right mental attitude to really play to win. Uh, I'm totally committed to making it successful. I'm absolutely convinced that we've got the right team. I have no doubts whatsoever in my mind that we're going to be successful. And that 15% I mentioned a few minutes ago is just round the corner. Hello again, my name is Michael, Michael Lonergan, and I'll be a part of the Pecos team that will be working with you over the next few days, and um, I'd like to say I'm really excited uh, about being part of this um, interface meeting. I, I guess you'd have to say this historical interface meeting, because as I understand, this is the first time that all of Europe has come together, and what an exciting opportunity, and we're really, really thrilled to be part of it. We have a special way to let you know that the break is over, that the break is it's time to, re to begin. And the way we do that is we play a special song. And here is that song. Just stay now. Okay. And sometimes we need to refocus or get the energy back or the attention back. And we have a special tool to do that. In one moment is to turn to a person next to you and as loudly and as rapidly as you can Describe to them what you had for lunch. And when you see me raise my hand, that'll be the indication. We'll just try it out one time, see if it works. Ready? Go for it. Now that's me. I had What do you want from your work? What do you want from your work? Just somebody can tell me. What do you want from your work? What's something that comes to mind when I ask you that question? Enjoyment. Satisfaction. Put <laughs> your hands right here, and all I want you to do is I just want you to throw it away. Just get over it, okay? The difference is the okay? Most of you will be doing things you've never done before. And, uh, and there are probably things you'll never do again. There's not just something you'd go out and do. But the only way it works is we put you through this experience and then we, we draw the analogy from that experience. How is that experience like your real life? How is that experience like working at Interface? Okay, ready? Begin the game. <laughs> okay, switch! Alright, let's take a look, see if this game can continue, see if we're ready to progress. Okay, switch! Pretty easy, isn't it? We got it. Lick it. Make it fun. Okay. <laughs> we did. Say, but switch. Okay, switch. <laughs> 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 okay, switch. <laughs> but let me ask you this question: When the game got started, and it became apparent that the resources were diminishing, what did you experience in yourself? How would you describe your your feeling, your emotion experience? Funny? Okay. Fight, fight for position. Yeah. Okay, that, I, I think I observed some of that. There was a natural... <laughs> Get off my square! <laughs> what I'm going to ask you to do now, in just a moment, is to take a short break. We must also continue to be creative. We want to be able to overlive. Okay, deep great. And here's the survival kit. Here's what we need. We need to wake up with inside of us three things. Three things we have to wake up. Number one, we have to learn how to learn. We have to learn how to choose. And we have to learn how to relate. Those are the three inherent skills in the future. 
here's what happens. All of a sudden, we find ourselves working harder and making less money, or working harder and losing market share, or gaining market share and losing money, or making less, or whatever. What we need to do is get back to the good old days. We know how to run this company. We've gotten sloppy over the years, you know? Let's get back, let's get back to doing it the way we used to, back to the basics. And uh, the other game, of course, we call playing to win. Playing to win. Going as far as I can using all that I've got. Only I know if I go as far as I can using everything I've got. Only I know if I give it my best shot. And what that definition is saying is, if I know I gave it my best shot, I won. Because to do that, I had to stretch, I had to be courageous, I had to be creative. To give it my best shot, I had to be willing to take a risk, I had to go out of my comfort zone, I had to go for it. Practice moving outside our comfort zone. And so, uh, when I say go, you ready? Go for it. <laughs> Butterflies are flying all out of formation. You feel like you're going to throw up. You're saying things to yourself like, Oh no, but if I do this, I'll fall. Sounds like a good day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of learning. <laughs> and so your whole team is out there saying, Step outside. See what happens. Take the step. We, it's a stretch, don't strain. So tomorrow we ask you to stretch and push and take an extra step out to see what happens. Just to see what the, you know, become a fish out of water. Try something different just to see what, what's out there. Are any of you uncomfortable at all as I talk about this? Yes. 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 <laughs> Good. I'd like you to go on my team. <laughs> I will be on one team and Mike will be on the other team. Um, breathe and sleep well and just... It'll be a great fun day tomorrow. And plenty of water. <laughs> plenty of water. Thanks. As I walked in the door, I just, I just, I just, I got, the, you know, I got the feeling, and uh, because I know what's going to happen the next three days, it's going to be unbelievable. So, what you got to do is you got to give it all you got, so that you can go tell them what happened and be able to describe it as best you can. So, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, there's a saying of pathos, there's no such thing as bad weather. There's only unprepared people. And so come prepared tomorrow, we may get sunshine, we may get rain, we may get no telling what, but we'll have fun. And I'm excited about it, and with that, I guess we'll adjourn. Give yourself a hand. Oh. So much physically. We'll, we'll take that one step at a time. What I mean going for it is really play this, play this way, play to win this way. Go for it emotionally. Go for it emotionally with each other. 
the physical part, we'll, we'll, we want you to go for that as well. But for many of us, we will have some medical or physical reasons. But I want you to hear me say that you could participate in this day 100%, 100%, and never get off the ground. For, for example, if you had a physical reason. Because the day is about creating a team, about creating a, a play to win environment. That's what it's about. We're buddy. And one of you to be a tomato. You say tomato. I'll show you all discomfort. I'm sorry, it's probably a very good thing. I saw it happen. Oh, my God. The emotion that it makes. This is on this Yeah. You say it out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, Jack. You can do it. Look quietly. Orang 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 Get a good understanding of, of what, it, what it's happening, and then make a wise choice to participate appropriately. You're going to do the bending your knees, that's where your shot goes over there. You're going to land on top of anybody. Got it? Yep. And then James Brown. Woo! Horses ready! Right. 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 ready? Middle ball is ready! And the morning. John's falling.
work. Great job, the layers. What do I bring to the group? I think some organisation um, and a big mouth. But I've never been to summer camp. I've never seen any of my before, <laughs> so I'm excited but frightened as well. I want some humour and then I'll panic at the top, so I need some technique. <laughs> 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 Probably one of the most awesome experiences I've, I've ever had when I got to the top of that. Since when I tried to do it earlier in the year, I've just seen the picture of the top of that pole and I've been trying to will myself to reach it. And today I've succeeded and it was incredible. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. It's great. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Yeah.
are here to leave a part of our ego, not all, and bring the team to work. <laughs> Stupid enough. Okay, so everybody feeling pretty clear? Yeah. Again, just in that, that opportunity to come to that place and experience yourself being there and going for it. Lock two. Lock two. Lock three. Lock three. Lock three. Good job. That's the way. How was it upstairs? How would you like us? How can we press nice. it? I didn't find a 15% there. He did find it. Alright, do it! Do it! On your way, you're on! Alright, you're on! That was like a ballerina! <laughs> <laughs> what a pressure! <laughs> Another piece of cake. Well, I can't. Speed. Right, I High speed. Turbo Young. Well done. Hey. 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 Just heard everybody downstairs shouting, so that was great hearing the encouragement. Yeah. Great. Well, the surprise for me was that I was scared, and I didn't expect it. <laughs> I, I, I sort of froze when I got to the top, and then I needed a lot of help. But I think the best thing that uh, has happened in the last uh, few minutes is the fact that Gilbert had a, a half a second go. Good job, good job. Good job. Way to go there, man. Way to go. I wouldn't go in the second time. Well, Are you ready, guys? Are you okay, Colin? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It was it. Okay. Oh, the adventure. Hello. Thank you. We'd like to oh. go down this way. Oh sure. Yeah, <laughs> it was great. It was great to be with the three of us. Yeah, but next time we're going to do it with both our legs, all our legs tied together. Oh yeah. Yeah. Say something. Say I can't say anything after the last event. You want to check with your players? <laughs> oh. oh. Hey, partner. <laughs> You're in charge, Ben. No poetry. Move your, your left hand up. Left hand up. Like this, yes. huh? It was entirely dependent on what you were telling me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh sorry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where you had you all the way?
Sight, the two of you up there. Are you just sitting for a Okay, well, this time I had the feeling, well, I, I don't get it. And we did it. And I'm very proud. Where, Jan? Well, personally, I'm almost losing the fear for the heights. So <laughs> 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 you want to climb more? <laughs> you want to climb more? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. It was a great support again. And again, Pete, yeah, like normal. Thank you. We're getting lots of support, individual, <laughs> and from everybody else. Yeah, it's super moy again. <laughs> super moy again. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. Um, <clears throat> you cannot achieve this exercise without the team. It's so good the teamwork. It's yeah. great. It, I have a fear, real fear of heights. Um, quite honestly, I was didn't think I'd get through it. And, uh, it was a sport until it. Great fun. That's all I can say. Great fun. The thing that enabled me to get there, instead of giving up there, was the quality of my part. Thank you, Gilbert, for saving me. <laughs> I say, I say, I say, you! Holy shit! <laughs> 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 
as a trapeze artist, they'd make a bloody good elephant. <laughs> Good partner. There are no sort of clones in this group, in the sense that everyone's quite different and separate and unique, but it all worked. I think a good example of, of multicultural language mm -hmm. and nationality. It mm -hmm. It's not that essential. We tend to try and want to make a, ourselves in some sort of corporate entity, a sort of manager, the bad word that we've... <laughs> to. Bread and just put bread in the middle of your bread and like that. And with your head, more magic. And we can imagine now. Stop beginning to come back, you know? Very nice. Just put it in your hand like that. Now you can turn your hand. Open your hand. <laughs> and then I saw that one of the team partners would put up their hands in a very awkward position themselves, reaching down below to give them a hand, and instead of grabbing this firm notch on the wall, they would go for that hand. I don't remember chapter 8 in the old management book. Have a good cry. Have you ever seen the last forecast? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot imagine how he made it, but he did it. Harold, please yeah. stand up. And Rudy showed us the way this morning. He was, of all the bets of people that would take the first participation, you wouldn't have put Rudy down, but Rudy was the first one there. This small guy... Very small, very small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all relative. He got me across the wire like you've never he seen. Loves it. Yeah. He went up the wall to the top. He needed to recover afterwards for 10 minutes. He needed to double scotch. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get it. He didn't get it, but he was great. Thank you for that. What I saw at the top of the pole was a new angle on life, a new way of looking at things. The best part of today was uh, that there was a team backing you up. The trust part was great. Thank you all for this, guys. Today, you have helped me fulfill a dream that I envisioned, and I want to thank you and I'm proud to be part of your team. That's it, period. I, I say, I say, I say, I say you! by 10 minutes after 10, be ready to have a short, very short, just re presentation back, report out back. Clear focus, direction. It's maybe it goes a little bit together, maybe. Really knowing where to go, I mean, and, 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 and going for it. We should make sure that our acknowledgement, our comments, our respect, our tuning up is, is clearly uh, understood. <laughs> Now remember, if you if you're touching the rope now, that's where you're attached to it. You're you're already committed to that position. With bodies, and then hold the rope. Yeah. <clears throat> We've spelt the word team. Let's not go back into that paper one again. Are you agreed? Yeah. 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 Hey, you 
come today and two of us hold the top line. Where are you? I'm here. I think you feel you're right. Where, where's the rope? This, this is the rope. You need at least four steps. There's just one pylon we can use together. Otherwise, you can't come there. Okay, Rudy, start us off here. One, two, three. I say, I say, I say, yeah! It's really challenging what I do, and, and I've always, as you know, been a, a great uh, missionary for uh, delivering superior value, um, but it really reinforces my view that uh, the, the track we're going down is the right track, and it's, this has just added to it. Great. Thank you. Thank okay, you glad. Cheers. This isn't the right time to borrow you with that comment. <laughs> uh, the way we started today was, uh, as far as I feel, a bit embarrassment. Uh, we did funny things like uh, dancing up the room and, and doing the mill thing and doing the, the awake thing. That's playing a role which is not uh, my favourite uh, uh, activity. I really appreciate it. It was uh, fun to be part of this, uh, the teamwork. So make that work, getting up, uh, climbing up the wall there. As you know, I got two Johns up there, blindfolded, and that was uh, when I was standing there, I said, Christ, how, how will I manage that? And uh, well, we did it, and uh, it, was, uh, it was a great experience. It was very nice uh, reaching the top there. Beep. That's a million dollars. You can go back the same way. Did you go back the same way? Okay, go on. Beep. Okay. Beep. meditations for miserable people yeah, who want to stay that way. <laughs> <laughs>
brainstorming the plane to win and let the juice flow. Well. Well. <laughs> you listening? That's worth the celebration. Are you ready? Can you tell me when you ready, set, go. Go. recognition and support process. Uh, you came in this morning to a group of photographs on, on, on the desk. Uh, hopefully you've all got a chance to see yourself in, in various poses. Uh, to me, the final thing I want to say about this carabine is, is, is what it really means to me more than anything today is the symbolism of hooking this company up worldwide. I never even thought about it in that light until just a while ago. This is my carabiner. Thank you, Johnny. I love you, buddy. You have given us an amazing gift. Uh, you trusted, trusted us, trusted me. Uh, we won't let you down. Thanks. We just want to take this opportunity to say goodbye and thank you and to encourage you to be yourselves and grow that possibility with all of your energy. Thanks for sharing your hearts with each other and with us, strangers that you've never met before. Yes. <laughs> uh, I just want to say on the opening night, um, we started out, Charlie got up, started the program and presented to, presented to you the European management team, your new president, John Walker. Thanks for, uh, for bringing this new concept to us. And uh, thanks for teaching us to, to play to win. We really appreciate it. I say, I say, I say, thank you!
Well, we started a couple of days ago. I opened the meeting, if I remember, and I talked about why we're here. And I suggested a couple of ideas. I said, we're here to build a team. Not an ordinary team, but a team which can respond to change, to create change, to lead change. I also mentioned that I felt it was the essence of delivering superior value. What happened after that? Well, someone came into our lives and taught us an idea called Play to Win. They introduced us to this concept of taste, truth, accountability, support, trust and energy. And they sent it out and asked us to climb up poles and try to balance on high wires. And we had to test every one of those key points. It was amazing, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Quite remarkable. They seemed to cram in 10 or 20 years of, ex of, of experiential learning into two days. That's the way I felt about it. They came up with this idea of stop, challenge, and choose. God, that's an amazing tool. We don't do it. It's an amazing tool to develop the business and develop ourselves and develop our people. So simple. Yesterday, I thought it was terrific when we talked in the morning about the, our vision for the future. We tend to blame others. There's always a reason why things aren't going well. But that exercise we did in sort of <coughs> fantasizing ahead and thinking about where we should be in a year's time and then working out how we're going to get there, what it would feel like, was terrific. I felt they really did give us some good input into creating our future and they referred specifically to Peter Drucker who said the best way to predict the future is to create it. That really hit me hard. Today we've been talking about simplification. Fantastic debate, brilliant debate about how we can simplify the business, how we can reallocate funds into growth areas. Absolutely marvellous. I can't tell you how proud I am to be here today. It's an amazing experience for me. It's probably the best four days of my <coughs> life. I need to thank you for helping me to develop my vision and for giving me such a great start. The other thing Pecos mentioned was commitment. Remember the chart? Well, I'm totally dedicated and committed to play to win. I hope I can help you and support you to do that, if that's what you want. Thanks.